Welcome or welcome back at I need help at C squared. In this example, we need to find the measure of angle ACD, which is this angle. If the measure of angle A, which is this angle, is 8y minus 20, measure of angle B is 10x plus 25, which is this angle. Measure of angle E is 5x plus 50, which is this angle. And you notice I marked it this angle the same as angle B and the measure of angle D which is this angle which I mark it the same like angle A is 2i plus 46 now why did I mark uh, A and D the same and B and E the same because these two angle pairs are congruent why because they are inscribed angles and uh, they have the same what we call intercepts arc in other words, if you take a look, angle A and angle D, they have this intercept arc. They are congruent. Angle A is congruent with angle D. Um, that means the measure of angle A is equal to the measure of angle D, which means A to Y minus 20 equals 2Y plus 46. And I'm going to subtract 2y on both sides. I have 6y minus 20 equals 46. I'm going to add 20 on both sides. I get 6y equals 66 and divide by 6y equals 11. And now if we have this y equals 11, we can find either angle A or angle D. I'm going to find angle A. I can find also angle D, as I said. The measure of angle A, if you remember, is A to I minus 20. We're going to plug 11 in it for Y. So we have 88 minus 20, and that will be 68 degrees. The measure of angle A is 68 degree we're gonna need that uh, measure of angle a for finding the measure of angle acd which are asked for but well, let's move to the second stage and in the second stage you're gonna use the other pair of angles angle b and e which i said they are congruent because they have this intercept arc if you notice they have this intercept arc AD in common. So the measure of angle B is equals to the measure of angle E, which uh, means in our case that 10x plus 25 is equals with 5x plus 50. And we're going to solve for x here, so I'm going to subtract 5x first which gives me 5x plus 25 equals, and in fact, this was uh, 50 here, not 20, equals 50. I'm going to subtract 25 on both sides. And I'm going to have 5x equals uh, 25 divided by 5 and that will give me x equals 5. So now I can use this x equals 5 and find the measure of angle B or the measure of angle E. I'm going to do the measure of angle B. Okay, and the uh, expression is 10x plus 25. We're going to plug 5 in it. So we're going to have 10 times 5 plus 25. And that will be... 50 plus 25, that will be 75 degrees. That is the measure of angle B. And now, why do I need this uh, angle A and B? Because if you take a look, we have this triangle. Let me, let me uh, use a different color. We have this triangle. Triangle ACB. We know these two angles. Um, Angle A is 68 and angle B is 75. And we can find angle C now, uh, angle ACD, 
because angle ACD is an exterior angle for that triangle ACD. Uh, and that means the measure of angle ACD will be equal to the sum of the measure of the remote interior angles, which in our case are angle A and angle B. So the measure of angle ACD will be 68 plus 75 and uh, that will be I'm sorry 68 plus 75 and that will be uh, 143 degrees if you enjoyed this video clip don't forget to click the like button and come back on c square for more help thank you